howdy y'all. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know me, my name's Jace and I'm a sex addict. Every week I come on and answer questions with regard to my life as an addict or a person in recovery or now someone out in the world uh, talking to experts in the fields of love, sex, um, addiction, and you know kind of everything in that realm through my documentary film Suddenly Celibate. Uh, and a question that came in which really like I was like oh my gosh why haven't we talked about this yet uh, you know we talk a lot on here about what it means to be sober as a sex addict how to stay sober as as a sex addict but no one's yet asked me why I stay sober and I thought that was a really interesting question why I stay sober um, and you know really there are things on the surface level that are, you know, a big part of that or, you know, or the kind of the obvious part of it where um, I am more capable of achieving the things that I want in my life. Um, you know, I, I run my own company now and I'm, you know, in the best physical shape of my life. I'm in the best mental and spiritual state of my life. Um, I'm stable. I'm financially stable. Um, I live in a nice house. I mean, I don't own it, but I live here and maintain it and all of the things. Um, I I can do a lot of the things that I want to and that I've not been able to do before just because I've not been stable. I have not had my priorities straight. Uh, it's really hard to get ahead when you're constantly falling down. And I was always sabotaging myself or starting over, like honest to goodness, my mentality before was once I messed something up like too far beyond like easy repair, I would just bail, uh, just like instantly leave. I mean, I've lived in a lot of different cities. I've done different jobs. Like I would just be done. And it's really hard to get ahead when you're starting over all of the time. So being sober means I get to actually progress in my life and move forward. I get to be a healthy adult, which sounds really boring, but is actually really cool. Um, you know, like I was teasing my niece because I, I like ate cake for breakfast one morning and she was like, Auntie, you can't have cake for breakfast. I was like, when you're an adult, you can eat whatever you want for breakfast. And it's true, right? There are some benefits to being an adult. That's a silly one, but it's a really cool one. Like how many times when you're a kid, do you want to eat cake for breakfast? Like every single day, if you were me, uh, I was kind of a fat kid, but uh yeah, like I get to now choose things in my life when before it just seems like everything was happening to me. Now I'm actually choosing what, my, what is in my life, which is really neat. But I think when I really look at it and get to kind of the heart of it, the, the deep down stuff in it, is that the person I used to be as an addict is not acceptable to me now. That does not meet my standards of what a healthy, functional, happy, fulfilled, uh, you know, service capable person looks like and acts like and behaves like and treats other people like I can't be that person again. I mean, I have uh, compassion for her and sympathy. I understand why I was that person. I get the brain side. I get how like there's just stuff going on in an addict's brain that does not allow for the same good judgment, the same decision making. I mean, there are misconnections going on that I understand that like I and I have sympathy for that. But she, she just disgusts me like honestly, and not even the sexual acts that were engaged in those those play a part too. just the lack of sincerity, authenticity, integrity, honesty, respect for other people. I cannot go back to being that person. I refuse to. And that fear that I could, because it's not, are we good people? Are we bad people? Are we this or that, right? I mean, everybody's good, everybody's bad, and then therefore we're neither. I don't know how that works. But when I am in active addiction, I do not have the priorities that I do currently. My priority is my next intrigue, my next fix, and anything that gets in the way is a problem, and I treat them like a problem, and I refuse to do that. I will not be that person again. 
I don't know if you guys know any addicts in your life, but they're probably not your favorite people. Active addiction makes it impossible to really love, to really connect. And I've found that those things are so important for me in my life to be true to who I am, to be able to present my real self to people and be accepted and supported and be totally fine if I'm not, and to really respect the the journey that other people are on and love them no matter what. I think more than anything, that's why I stay sober. I want to be this person that I am now so much that I'll do anything to not be that person that I used to be. And the thing about it is being an addict is hard work. It takes a lot to be an active addict. I was up all night. I was like, it's like having an entirely different full-time job. It takes a lot of work for no benefit. Like it seems like completely crazy now when I think about it. Like there are short-term benefits that seem like benefits, but they're not at all. Now, yeah, recovery is a ton of work. I'm not going to lie and be like, oh, recovery is all like, you know, springtime and blossoms and puppy dog. No, recovery is hard. You have to look at who you really are. Look at the shit that you're in. Look at your past. Look at how you've treated people. I mean, you have to come face to face with the ugliest, darkest, scariest parts of yourself in your past. You have to stare at them and work through them and you can't escape them. It's the point. It sucks. It's hard. But the benefits are so vast. The rewards are endless so far. So, I mean, if I'm going to be working hard anyway, I might as well be getting hugely rewarded instead of seemingly like making my life worse with all of my effort. Logically, it just doesn't make sense for me. And now that I have the tools and the support and the people and the guidance and everything to stay sober, and it's out there. Uh, If this is your addiction or there's another addiction or you have any kind of problem, someone else has that problem and they've already figured out a way to work through it. There's tons of blog posts about it. There are books about it. There, you know, it's all out there. Nobody's going through a problem for the first time. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Doesn't matter what your problem is, right? So if I have the resources at hand and I know where to get them, why would I not do that? Why would I not continue doing that to live this amazing life and be a person that I get to love? I don't know if you guys love yourselves, but it's awesome. I highly recommend it. It feels so cool uh, to really love and respect myself. So, man, yeah, there's a lot of ways that I stay sober, and uh, those are the reasons why, and they're really important to me. And I'm glad somebody asked. It's good to have those present and in my face as well. So thank you so much for that question, and uh, feel free to send them in. You can do so through my website, suddenlycelibate.com. And, uh, yeah, until, until next week, stay curious.